So this was a crazy ride. Wow, guys. Thank you so much. I didn't expect there's gonna be a big event tonight. You always sing on the ship? Do you always? Time to rock out to Manila. And so on this note, welcome back to Coron, Philippines. Driving around the road, we as always are a little bit last minute, just a little bit. We're gonna be catching the overnight ferry today, as you might already know. But first, I've been uploading a video, sort of last minute. Left it in a cafe with some lovely ladies, so let's see how the upload is coming along. So much. So, heading to the port. Okay. Give you the payment already? 50 and a bit on top. There we go. Thank you. So, hello, looks like we made it. So we made it to the port here. Let's see. Well, well, my guys, we are gonna be today going to Manila. And we're not gonna be flying. We are on a small island. Some people say it's one of the most beautiful islands in the world. and. It was nice, it was a good time. And actually there was planes going out of here. But you know, I checked a little bit. Could fly for two hours, sit in the airplane, go through the airport security, everything the usual. Or take a boat for 15 hours. It is supposed to be a passenger boat, so I'm expecting, <laughs> you know, they had a business class there. Tourist or business, I wasn't sure. We got the tourist class. Maybe we're gonna be sneaking a little bit into the business class as well, which was like, I think $4 more. But honestly, tourist class looked a little bit better on the photos. And, uh, we hop on the plane. A quick word from the channel's video sponsor, Safety Wing. So if you travel a lot, what you will need to have is a travel medical insurance. On the one side, many countries, especially during the past few years, are requiring a travel medical insurance. But even besides that, it's always good to have a travel medical insurance. And Safety Wing is a really easy solution. I've talked about it many times on the channel and you just put in your information, you can get the insurance for a few weeks, a few months, or even use it as a long-term travel medical insurance. I will leave my link in the description or somewhere here. And with that, let's get back to today's adventure. The Titanic is rolling in. Wow, this boat looks really a little bit crazy. Like we have the wide angle on, I'm gonna zoom in for in a second, but that's it, this huge thing there. So no way I would have expected that we're gonna be going on like a proper cruise ship. So there's a there's a crowd of people standing on top. Wow, this is starting to get excited right now. Alrighty, so the man is making sure the documents are here. Let's see. There you go, thank you. So as you can tell, people are boarding the ship. I think it will be interesting. So sun is about to go down any moment. It's gonna be busy. Right, it looks like for whatever reason, the girls to the right, boys to the left, excuse me. Up. Our time is about to come, so here people are boarding the ship. 
Hello. Hello. There you go. Trudy's. Go yes. upstairs. Then. Upstairs. Thank you. Okay, so we finally found our room. I'll show you in a second, but first, let me just take the time to tour you around a little bit. This boat is very, very different than I thought it would be. Hello, guys. Oh, oh, that's nice. Alrighty, so that is the famous business class, which is $4 more. It's about the same. I'll show you the rooms later. But what does look really nice, remember the one scene in Titanic where uh, she's standing upstairs, he's waiting for her at the bottom. So this is pretty much exactly where it was filmed. San Francis, Javier. No, honestly, there is some resemblance and I would not be surprised if that's actually a little bit what they have been going for. But I'm sure like most ships have kind of like platforms like that. So uh, the company is called To Go and well, downstairs is busy. So the boat is huge and I'm sure they have different, oh, that's what I was looking for a little bit. So we got a nice cafeteria, gonna be coming back here shortly. Here's a bit of a check-in station. Seriously, this is, they could be selling this as a boat hotel if they would wanted to. So front desk, figuring out some ticket situations. No, seriously, what, what is this? This is a salon, can you believe this? So I can cut my hair here, I think. Hello. I can get a haircut here? Yeah. You do haircuts? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll consider me, me sure. uh, like 3 a.m. You're all night here? Okay. Thank you. All right. So I can get an all night haircut. That's definitely not nothing. What is going on here, guys? This is a bit too much for me right now. We just ran randomly into a huge food court. So I expected a lot. I expected a little kiosk, but I did not expect this. So looks like mm, that looks good looks like they're serving a rice and meat course over here some people i think brought their own stuff wow this is unbelievable let's go check this out so we're gonna be going in looks like everybody is getting a bit the same i'm wondering is it included it might be this looks like a bit of an add-on definitely gonna be going for this in a second it's like something is included we're gonna be checking it out later First, I want to see if we, by any chance, can get a... What is this? This looks like some type of business lounge here. What do we get in there? Let's see. Horizon Cafe. Hello. Hello. Are you open? Thank you. So guys, looks like this is a bit of a... more upscale experience here on the boat. So let's see what they're having something steaming got some fried chicken nice and quiet here definitely will be back hello do you know can i get up to the deck right now to the roof yes sir yeah let's go to the left to the right um in the left sir mm, to the left all right we have, uh, mm -hmm. so just a little sneaky unsuspecting door over here interesting are they trying to hide this place because this is much busier over here Hello! What do you have? Meatballs? Meatballs with... Uh, meatballs? Chicken balls. Chicken balls. Nice. Alrighty guys, looks like we found one of the... Oh, just a washing room, okay. Not a toilet. So, welcome to Filipino Titanic. Alrighty, here is the value accommodation. So this is probably, I don't know, value, super value, whatever it may be. So the room I'm staying in looks a little bit different. Not too much, honestly. Oh, and we're outside. Okay, and we made it to the roof. Obviously right now, especially recording with this camera, you're not gonna be seeing too much. But tomorrow morning, like the boat is already running on Filipino time. So we're like three hours late, still haven't departed. So we'll see when that's gonna happen. But with that also, we're gonna be arriving maybe around 9, 10 a.m. So I'm gonna do my best to get up here for sunrise. But yeah, goodbye Coron. So this is the boat. And well, I guess let me show you where I'm gonna be staying tonight. So coming in. Hello. Oh, wow. Nice and tight, so we got the boys in the back. Hello. So this is where I'm gonna be residing. We got the two boys in here. And I don't know, they're probably gonna bring some other stuff later on, but I think in total is like what is it? 
12 beds. And I think the other rooms, some of them have a bit more. Oh, look, this one. So this one has like, I don't know, probably 24, judging by the fact that it's kind of like two rooms. So it looks like they're also having some nice to-go merchandise. The bottle looks pretty nice, so can also have some nice with the beat of life. Alrighty, nice little safety backpack. Hello. Is there anything included in the ticket? Can I see your ticket sure. Rice and meatballs. I'm feeling like an IKEA here. It actually even looks a little bit like that. Okay, so it looks like one meal is included. We got some type of, I don't know, some type of meat in there and actually it tastes much better than it looks. Turn on some music and the boat is departing. Uh, there is a, there is gonna be a concert tonight. Are you also gonna be singing tonight? Yes. Yes? Oh, yes. Great. You, what about you? You do the DJ? Wow, guys. Thank you so much. I didn't expect there's gonna be a big event tonight. You always sing on the ship? Do you always sing on the ship? Yes, yeah, always. Nice. Every night. Every night? Yes. Alright, so these guys are singing every night on this ship. Tia is gonna be going first. What was her name? Joy. Joy? Yeah. Tia and Joy. What type of situation do we got in some city? I'll be back with my orange juice to enjoy this occasion. Alrighty, first let's go to the deck and see what is going on there. conditioners kind of on so barely any movement so no seasickness like the sleeping I had the headphones I had a sleeping mask so it worked out not not too bad woke up once to go to the toilet and then if the headphones fall off you hear like a very aggressive <laughs> snore like a proper uncle snore you know but um, yeah Seriously, like this boat is a proper experience. So just to turn around a little bit to show you what we're looking at here. So we're here out in the open ocean here. We're moving. And I think here we got the, the staff. Hello. And I think we are not too far at this point from Manila. I really would have wished that um, would have left before sunset because then could have seen Coron. We'll see how Manila is going to be looking. I'm going to make sure to come up again during uh, when we're going to be approaching. But also, wow, and there's like little little local boats swimming by here. Also, they just made an announcement through the speaker. First of all, the little play prayer, and second of all, they mentioned that breakfast is also being served. So damn. This is like a proper all-inclusive situation here. Okay guys, so I've been walking around here on the roof I think for a good hour, a little bit back and forth, get some morning exercise in if you will. 
and while I'm doing that I'm seeing this skyline of Manila peeking up first a little bit hazy behind the cloud now we're right in front of it looking at the huge port of Manila so I think it's only a matter of like minutes at this point we're gonna be there maybe like half an hour max and yeah honestly I have to say it was a super super enjoyable ride overall was an experience and you know even though I am kind of like a really what to say I'm not frustrated about the fact that we didn't leave on time in the Sun but it would have added to the video on the one on the one side I also would have liked to see that just Koran sunset she like shipping out on a huge ship but that is the the amazing thing about the life that I've been building for the last few years that whenever I kind of like miss an experience I never feel too bad about it like visually perhaps for the video but you know life is long there's gonna be many opportunities if you set up life the right way which I hope you are doing this is what God World sees all about so there's gonna be many many more ships and many many more sunsets and sunrises but this one was interesting honestly I feel like it's an experience if you come to travel I think this might be one of the best ways to get from Manila to Coron and then go to El Nido go to Palawan Island because usually you have to fly the flights are either depends if you book early enough they're the same price but if not then this boat is much more affordable it's also much much more comfy honestly like um, depends if you're short on time probably take the flight but if you have a little bit of time this boat in terms of comfort convenience much better than I thought it would be I thought it would be a bit of you know uh, older boat but it's a pretty new boat and so this will be the final call for today so we're standing next to another one of these to-go boats we've got Manila in front of us so let's see how we can get off this boat yeah no smooth seriously I mean so far let's see time to rock out to Manila Rocking out. And so there we are. Just got out of the ship. As you see, the people are coming down. And I guess this should give you right now a little bit the dimension of this huge beast. So this is the tip of the ship. This is the back. Gotta live dangerously. Mm -hmm. All right, so as of right now, organize the place where I'm gonna be staying in Manila. Quite excited for that. Four days of, um, yeah, just catching up on stuff. Uh, Ali, my Ali Machan, uh, what is it? Uh, Kuya Ali is here in uh, Manila. Uh, probably gonna catch up with him as well and maybe do a road trip towards the end of the Philippines trip, which on one side is kind of soon, but on the other side, I think there's still a lot, a lot more to be seen or done seriously this boat in the backdrop so guys on that note i hope you enjoyed today's little voyage voyage you want to see where i am right now join me on instagram and you will find all the details about who i am what i do what i'm up to what i had for breakfast that is on instagram until next time the boat right now and there is a security man coming up on me is it any good just taking a quick thumbnail sorry about that Sure. Damn, they're making the thumbnail life hard here. Let's see.